How's it going guys? My name is McKenzie and this is episode 20 of my daily design series. In today's episode, I played around with the concept for uh, Stripe's dashboard. Uh, for those of you who do not know, Stripe is a, uh, a payment processor, sort of like PayPal, but just much better. So uh, let's jump in and you can see how I go about this. So at this point, I've already sketched up on my notebook some low fidelity wireframes. So here I'm using my wireframing kit to uh, create some mid fidelity wireframes just to help think through uh, the layout a bit more and fine tune it. So the general idea here is I wanted a navigation up top with the logo, then nav items, then have a graph showing the purchase volume uh, for the past uh, seven days or 30 days, etc. Below that, I wanted a sidebar and a main content area. The sidebar having the main links, and then the main content area having two timelines, one for uh, new customers and another for recent purchases. So this may not make sense to anyone who hasn't used Stripe before, but basically Stripe has two states, a live and a test state, uh, which for the test you can create uh, dummy purchases just to make sure everything's working. So uh, I wanted to highlight this and feature it on the design because um, it is a pretty important aspect to the Stripe platform.
So in addition to the graph, I wanted a way to show important data at a glance. Uh, for example, the last transfer that was made into your bank account, uh, the next transfer that is going to happen, the total number of customers, and the total volume that has gone through your account since you created it. So above the main timeline, I wanted to make sure to feature all that information as an important element to this design. So on the main content area, I wanted to have two timelines, one showing the customers uh, and which plan they joined and how much revenue that brings in. And then beside that, I wanted to have a timeline for payments that would show not only new customers, but also old customers that had their monthly subscription renew. All right, guys, that wraps up episode 20. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on this design. So if you're doing the daily design challenge alongside with me, be sure to add a link to your design for this episode in the comments below so we can all take a look. And of course, be sure to come back here tomorrow for another design.